So the big picture for this lesson is creating rotations and coordinates of rotations. So here's triangle ABC, and a rotation means that you basically spin something around a certain point. And typically in math, we have a coordinate system like this. The rotation is around the origin of the graph, so the point zero, zero. So I'm going to do a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. That's what CCW stands for, and counterclockwise means you're going this way because clocks go this way around. Okay, so the way you draw these is you basically take a protractor and measure 90 degrees. So, means 90 degrees from here. So, here's my segment drawn from the origin to point A. And then I need to make a 90 degree counterclockwise, which means going this way. Okay, and 90 degrees is right here. You can't see the protractor I'm using, but trust me, that's where it goes. So that is A prime. And then we'll do the same with point B. There's a segment from the origin to point B. And then you want to make a 90 degree for that. That would go right there. Okay, so that's 90 degrees right there. And that's my point B prime. Point C from the origin to point C is right here. Looks like it's right along the side of that triangle. So now I need to make a 90 degree angle with that segment. Okay, so 90 degrees will take me through there. Okay, like that. So that'll be my point C prime. Okay, now aside from getting the angle measure correct, you also need to get the distance away from the center of rotation correct. So for example, I just used a slope pattern here to get the distance. So if I went over two and up one here, I need to follow the same pattern here, but in this case it's up two over one. So you're just following the same type of a triangle pattern for each point. So B was over eight up one, so here it was up eight over one. Following along there, that gives you the same distance and the same idea for C prime. So then what you can do is you can go ahead and draw the new triangle, the rotated triangle. Just like that. So that triangle has been rotated 90 degrees around the origin. And there are also special coordinate patterns that you can use. I was talking about using the distance, but there are special coordinate patterns. And here's how you can do that. For the 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, any coordinate x, y will map to negative y, comma, x. So that means you switch the x and the y values and then change the sign of the new x value or the old y value, depending on the way you want to look at it. So for example, for point A to 1, that map to negative 1, 2. See, I switched the coordinates and then changed the sign of the new x value. And there are other mappings you can use to make rotations easier. So if you want to apply the coordinates instead of trying to use a protractor, that is totally fine. So what are the other patterns? For 90 degree clockwise rotation, so that's the other direction, x, y maps to y, comma, negative x. So again, you switch the coordinates, but this time the new y value or the old x value switches signs. And then for a 180 degree rotation, x, y goes to negative x, comma, negative y. So you just change the sign of both coordinates. So that's the big picture for this lesson.